many shows where every episode could be your last. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know how much you know. As in if we're going to live and Live and episode. die, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 On the show, yeah. you have the phone call. Yeah. Mm, yeah. And are you, you just sitting the there call. waiting for the phone call for mm. the last 10 years? No, no, it sort of depends. <laughs> like in the early days, you yeah. were kind of like, oh, okay, this is like a theme. He's uh-huh. killing everyone. We're like, again, like guaranteeing our mortgages. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just get that straight. Um, no, but so you get, a, you get a phone call from David and Dan, who are the creators of the show. And everyone starts to really dread that phone call because mm-hmm. if you're like, oh my god, they want to take me out for dinner, and so then you know that's the that's, that's the kiss of death, literally. So um, nobody wants to go to dinner with them. No, or literally. But them. then, but then every time they ask you out for dinner, they're like, we're not trying to kill you. We just want to get dinner. We, we just, just want to like talk about. <laughs> we just like you. We want to yeah. talk about what you're. <laughs> but, um, but for me, on a very um, real level, because I started so green yep. and was so incredibly um, grateful to be in employed i just assumed that every you know imposter syndrome times a million like i just assumed that every time i was going to read the script that i was going to be written off because i was just crap uh-huh. and that they had had an and that this time was the last time so i was every single season and genuinely until like the last season where you're like oh wow still here just the whole that's good yeah, nice nice yeah. do you ask but questions yeah, uh, do you ask where the words going and how much are, are you then told they really don't give anything away does that help you so you? yeah i don't like to live um season you know at, in in anything other than the season that i'm in because with daenerys she really has evolved so much and she's grown so much and every season there's something new that happens so it does feel like a new character i'm very 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 lucky in that sense to have lived with the character for 10 years but she's we've grown together so i very i have to just deal with what i'm dealing with in the moment but we have lots of conversations definitely and I think they very quickly started to write for each individual actor. Uh-huh. But with me, they, I think they definitely, you start to see in the stage directions. Like, they're complete goofballs. So most of the stage directions are, like, ridiculous and very funny and, like, mention really rude things, I can't say. Um, <laughs> Daenerys Forrest. Yeah. Yeah. No. Just, like, a lot of, like, in-jokes about, like, you know, and then... Jon Snow's hair glistens in the sun, like, we know it will, like, the Pantene advert, like, all that kind of nonsense. But, yeah, so they started writing for us very much, and it, I think they knew that whatever kind of stoic sort of um, cold sensibilities they might be writing down that I was going to try and bring a bit more warmth and a bit more kind of humanity to her where I possibly could. And that was always a conversation we were always having. Mm. And every season I would go off and do something else in hiatus, come back and be like, what's up? Yeah, she's going to sit like this. This is how she's going to... And every time they're like, that's really cute, but stand up straight and don't smile and you're not funny and that's just... And so you have to keep kind of bringing it back into like the, the, the parameters that I myself set up. Sure. But just set up real young. So, and yeah, perfect posture being one of them. I knew I'd made it in Hollywood when. Is there an I've arrived or a pinch me moment? <laughs> yeah, I was at a I was at a, <laughs> I was at a gala event um, and uh, and I someone had asked me to like auction something. So I, we were trying to go through all the stuff and then I couldn't auction. You know, I was like, oh, I'll just auction a dragon, but like, you can't do that. So <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll, we'll, I'll auction like come and watch your favorite episode with me and we'll eat, you know, horses' hearts or something. <laughs> Anyway, so I have that, and I get, and I don't think about what it is until I actually get there, and I'm sitting in the room, and I'm sitting in the room with like every celebrity on the planet, going, oh my God, I thought this would be like a private thing, like they wouldn't say it out loud, so they're saying it, and then I have to stand up, and it turns into this thing, and so the auction comes up, the room goes completely silent, and I'm like, I'm going to die, I'm actually going to die, <laughs> and then I'm one of my friends who was on the table was like puts his paddle up, and then suddenly some other people start to put their paddles up. And um and then one of those people was Brad Pitt, so that was Ooh, that was yeah, fun. Oh, and then I went the colour I'm going right now. <laughs> and, then, uh, and it was yeah, that was yeah, that was a that but was he a history didn't moment. Ultimately win. He didn't ultimately win. <laughs> I know, my friend ultimately won, go figure. But <laughs> I was literally like, You can stop now. I was there and there was a lot of back and forth. It was like no, <laughs> yes, no, yes, <laughs> no, no. I mean it was some serious competition. It was the most ridiculous surreal moment of my entire <laughs> I, 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 I never called my friends and said anything, and I was like, guys, I just want just to let you know. <laughs>